So, just another quick video about Virtual DJ 2024 and a new feature that's been added to Virtual DJ 2024 when it comes to lists. And it was added in build 8093, which is almost the latest version, but you'll need at least build 8093 for this to work. So what's it all about? Well, it's to do with duplicates in lists. Because like you probably know, uh, back in the day with virtual folders, uh, you couldn't have any duplicates, they, they were automatically removed. But that's not the case in, in, uh, in lists now, because they also, of course, now uh, are supposed to take the place of the old playlists. And playlists could indeed have duplicates, so you could have the same track coming over and over again if you needed to. Uh, not so with virtual folders, so people uh, assume that list won't do that either, but they will if you don't set it. Uh, you probably looked into this, but let's just uh, go through it uh, really quick here, uh, the original feature here. So if I create a new list and I call it duplicate test one, and I put in a track, and I put in another track, and I put in the first track again, then it's just going to be there because it just works, right? If I then go into the list here and tell it no duplicates and go back and forth, then one of the... Uh, this one has been removed because it has removed the duplicates. And if I try to add it again, I can, right? But then people were complaining that they needed to go set this all the time. And also all the converted one from Virtual DJ 2023 didn't have this set that has duplicates. Uh, but that has now been changed because you could set it uh, to always do no duplicates. So if I go into settings here and I go and type in duplicates, it has a disabled duplicates for new lists. And that also goes with converted lists from virtual DD23. So if I set that to yes, and I go back to my lists here and create a new one, let's call it duplicate, sorry, test two here, then you can see, of course, that these now have the now duplicates set by default. And people really requested this. And that, of course, means that I can load a track into it. I can load another track into it. But I can't load the first track into it again by default. So that's now a new setting that you can uh, use if you want these new lists to act more like the old virtual folders.